in the late 20s, early 30s. It was set up by a, <clears throat> a construction uh, company. Ah. And the IEC was quite successful. And so they built this uh, a nice house. Yeah, sir. Nice home up in uh, Glendale, yeah. in, in the nice section. It, it had hills like rolling hills. Hmm. <clears throat> and, uh, they, uh, Glendale and, near Pasadena. Huh? Is Glendale near Pasadena? Right. Right. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, uh, his older brother, I believe he was older. Had this beautiful home in, in, in Winnipeg. Oh. He was very successful. They broke up. They got mad at one another, and, and then the younger one came down to California. So you knew him in Canada? No, I didn't know him. Oh. Uh, this friend that I came down with, Bob Johnson, knew the uh, the daughter. We were in uh, in, in the University of Manitoba together. Oh. That year, 1946, he became acquainted with the Irish girl. She was about 19 or 20 at the time. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and we were, you know, 21, 20, 22. So uh, she was on the, in this home uh, with her father and, and well in present. That was the name of, of the uh, street I'm trying to think of. Oh, right okay. along the Cinnaboyne River there. Oh, okay. As I say, that was where the the top-notch uh, people of Winnipeg live. <laughs> That's George's, uh, that was what George used to always say, top-notch. <laughs> oh. uh, you should have uh, seen uh, uh, this street. It was... Uh, really tuxedo? Great. In Tuxedo? Huh? In Tuxedo? No, it was oh. separate from, it was in Winnipeg. Oh, oh, oh. Tuxedo was a separate city. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. A small, much, just a small city. Yeah, like Rolling Hills. Yeah. Okay. No, no commercial things. Like, just purely uh, residential. Okay. Yeah. And it was uh, top-notch, uh, too, but huh. this was the top-notch street in, in the city of Winnipeg. Hmm. And it was a, a much longer street. It had a lot more homes on it. And it was a street for the, the money people uh, built, oh, say, starting in, in about the 20s. And they had these, mostly the English manor style house, brick, you know, and like that, but big, sitting in there and overlooking the Cinnabon River, which would be wow. in their backyard. Wow. But uh, in front was the, the, this uh, drive through street. Called Wellington Prison. Well, for about uh, oh, thank you. five miles. Mm -hmm. What street did George live on? Oh, thank you.